Okay, reapings everybody, welcome back to another episode of Serious Cubes Adventures in Oriental Blight Forest. We can swim. Awesome. And it looks like we are actually about to get a new ability. If... Splash? If that's the icon up there on the map. Uh, so let's go check that out. It's really nice that we can breeze underwater. So we can like take a look at things a little bit more relaxed. Oh, what was that? Is there something stomping? Kind of looks strange. Uh, the screen was shaking there for a little bit. Okay, this is just for like when you when you fall down, you fall into water, and you have to swim back to the beginning here. Yeah. Fair enough. I'm gonna save. I know we just saved outside, but it doesn't hurt to um, just have like an extra little bit of progress there. So if I fail this, I don't have to like go all the way back. Okay, we still have this ability. Very nice. Uh, it's he's probably gonna shoot me, right? Most likely. Yeah. I can use this though to my advantage. Nice. Is there anything up there? No, we can't go further. Okay. Where do we have to catapult ourselves? Here it is. What is it gonna be? Elo was the stoutest of all the spirits, the most powerful he ever seen. Now here he rests, turned into an ancestral tree. Okay. It sounds like we might get a bash or something. Uh, like a like a stomp, I should say. Something that breaks these stones. Oh, stomp, yes. To use this ability, press A to leap into the air, then down to dive powerfully towards the ground. Nice. Yes, we've been needing this for quite a while. Is there anything? Yeah, there's more up there. Is he going to help me come back up there? Yes. Ow. Safe. That means every time I load now, I'm gonna see that projectile. Uh, what? If, oh yeah, I was going to say, what if I do this on these things? We've seen some of them before, right? Yeah. Okay, this goes back. Actually, let's stay. Hmm, how do we open this up there, though? Oh, I know. Wait, no, our friend isn't gonna use his ability, is he? So maybe we can't go there quite yet. I'm not sure. Maybe we can. <gasps> Ow. Oh, I can't just stack. Oh, okay. I was going to say. Ah, dang it. <laughs> okay, good to know. Wait, let's do this then first. Totally forgot about it. So we can break their horn. Nice. And then, uh, we, then we can just attack them. Good to know. Okay, can I save here? Can I save here? Yes. Okay. I was wondering why the camera was like moving like this. It was kind of strange. When I couldn't move at all. Nice. We're getting so powerful. Wait, did you open up something? He came out of a wall. No, there's actually nothing behind there. Very, very cool. Okay, we can just swim back, I assume. Yeah. Whee. Okay, so we got that. I don't know if he... I, it, doesn't, it doesn't look like we can go up there yet, so I'm gonna ignore this. For now, it looks like we might need a upward dash or <laughs> something. Uh, but we can open this probably, I assume. Yes. Man, being able to swim now and being able to dash these things is going to give us so many opportunities of opening up stuff. Still like jumping and attacking at the same time. <laughs> Just like randomly. Nice. Okay, we used this already. Go save here. So we can go down. Uh, or upwards, right? Yeah, let's um, let's open this up because we can just go back and we get something. You found an ability cell. Nice. Yeah, see, like this, we can't open. This is a high roll uh, thingy scribbled into this tree here. Interesting. A Triforce thing, I mean. 
Okay. And underwater. Yeah, th oh, this is under? Okay, I guess we have to do it jumping into the water. Oh, no. We hmm. Oh, yeah, we can't do this, huh? Okay, interesting. Wait, so if you can't get through there... Then... Where do we go? <laughs> hmm. Yep, that's not it. Um, okay. That is interesting. Wait, there's something underwater there too. Oh, I didn't even see that. From this way, this angle here. Wait, didn't we go through here though? No, we didn't. Strange. But it looks like there's also a stone wall above us that we can't go through, so I'm not quite sure how it's gonna help us. Oh, I think it should have saved. Okay. Oh, this is a blue one, I see. This one we can actually open up. Um, can we make it over there? No, how am I gonna make that? Not sure if I can yet. Okay, I'm gonna try one more time. It's okay if we die. No, we can't do that yet. Okay. So we have to do this and bam. Oh, that's in water. This is cool. Oh yeah, I didn't even think about how we actually get through that then. <laughs> we would still have been like stuck. Oh, that is so awesome. Okay, so that opened up this. Oh, and it lowered the water. So now we can actually bash into the uh, into that wall that we had up there. Can I save? Oops. Yes, save on the water. That is really clever level design. <laughs> a lot of, um, you know, a lot of games that use water levels often don't change the water levels itself. Zelda 64 did that a lot and I guess it's also why uh, why a lot of people don't like the temple maybe. Because it's, it, it, it's like sort of confusing because you need the water to be at specific heights at specific moments and stuff. But it's just, it's like really clever level design I think and puzzle design to have that ability. I think Twilight Princess did this too. And the Water Temple in Pli uh, Twilight Princess was actually one of my favorite. What is this wall above us? That looks really weird. It's like fire or something, or lava. Oh no, is it gonna... Okay, I thought like maybe lava or something is gonna come down. I don't think we've seen lava, have we? I'm not sure, this is uh, breakable. Almost didn't see that, if it wasn't like highlighting. Okay. Ow. Wait, can I even make this? Like this, maybe? Ah, that's okay. <laughs> Why would I want to do this, though? Hmm. I actually don't know, to be honest. That seemed a little bit useless. Maybe I'm missing something there. Yeah, I'm not sure. Okay, oh wait, we can't actually go through here. Oh yeah, we can. Wait, what's something up here? Oh, there's something too. Mm, I thought maybe we can like use that to jump twice. Maybe you can, I don't know. Uh, I think we could. Yes, we can. Oh, uh, not to jump twice, but we can reach it. Nice. Okay. Thanks, spider. <laughs> You're not the worst. Just almost the worst. Oh, we killed something. Off screen. Bam. New ability points. Two actually. Hmm. Yeah, let's save here. Oh, did I need the spider? <laughs> That's probably why it's an unsafe zone. I think I actually need... Well, no, I can make this. Safe on this side. Yeah. 
Okay, let's have a quick look. So what is the next one here? Uh, halves the cost of Soul Link. That's pretty useful. Ability markers. Marks ability cells show... Or makes ability cells show up on the map. That is pretty cool too. Uh, this entire like line here leads to really cool things. Like life markers, energy markers, and then sands, which shows hidden walls. But again, I don't know how many, like, if you can get unlock everything. I would guess you can, because you can farm ability points, right? Killing enemies gives you ability points. Allows the spirit flame to damage twice, right? Increase damage and allows bashing through enemies. Uh, increase damage of stomp. Yeah, I don't know. This doesn't sound too appealing. Having two hits or two targets might be pretty good though. Uh, I don't know. I think I'm going to make ability markers for now. Yeah. Okay, yeah, let's double check this. If I kill this dude, did I get ability points from it? Yeah, yeah. not a lot. But I mean, it's possible, right, to farm them. So technically, it is possible to unlock every single skill. And who knows? Maybe like enemies later in other game in other levels uh, uh, actually give you a lot more. Man, we can explore so much, guys. <laughs> so much to explore. We zoom out. How far is this anyway? We have to go like all the way over here somewhere. Look how far away this is. Wow. That is crazy. Um. Where are we? There we are. Okay, there's something in the water down below us. Ability points. Lots of stuff. Oh, there is... Wait, is that a... Oh, no, they are activated already. I thought we haven't activated this one yet. <laughs> I was a little bit surprised there. Yeah, down there there's stuff we could probably get. Because this is in water. This is in water. There's one in between. I don't know if we can get that. But I'm curious. So maybe let's go down there. Somewhere down this way, I think it was. This looks familiar. Is this where these stompy guys are? Going the right way, right? Yes. Oh, yeah, I think it's this where the stomping stuff is, isn't it? Oh, this area. Yes, 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 yes. I remember this. So this is all clean water now? Yes. Okay. This is. I think this is uh, the first time we tried out swimming in this pond here. I think we just jumped in to see if it hurts us and yes it did quite a bit so that is in this corner so a little bit further below this stuff so we have to like hold go to the left here somehow did i miss it no there it is nice ability cell okay so yeah i'm gonna actually use this one to get that Split flame because it only costs one, so might as well. And then all the way down there. We. This is where our friend dropped us down. Not so much of a friend back then, but oh, why would I? <laughs> it's okay. It worked. Yeah, plus nine. Okay, yeah, you can farm them. And there it is. Whoosh. So the question is though, we still can't teleport or anything, right? That would have been useful. Uh, 96% of the moon grotto. Hmm. I wonder... How big is the moon grotto? I wonder what else there is to this. Like this thing on the left there. Does this count to the moon grotto? Because uh, I don't see anything else hidden. Yeah, that at least... That's the stompy things down there I was talking about. Oh man, how do we get up then again? Oh, on the right side there. Right. It's been a while since we've been here. Uh, come on, you can do it, I know. I know we can. And up here. Don't die. Actually, I should save. <laughs> Don't risk it. Yeah, we can make it up here. Okay, it's all good. Ow. Yeah, I'm not sure where the last 4% could be. 
If we get all these markers in the end, then that definitely is gonna help us out quite a bit. Can I get through this? Yes. Wasn't sure if that's like foreground or background. That's quite the climb though. Oh yeah, this is the this is the place that led to our friend, I think, right? Yeah, this is where he got hurt, okay. Nice. I'm pretty sure you're gonna get something to quick travel eventually. Ah, you just have to. There's no way that you don't. Because these levels are gigantic. That would take forever to... To walk all over the place. Unless that's what they want you to do. But that would be... Not very convenient. And these, um... You know, these big save points we find all over the place. I'm pretty sure these are gonna be... The teleporters. It just... Just makes sense. Oh wow! I forgot that this thing falls down. Uh oh. Close one. Okay, so on the left side there, there's something to stomp. And a gate that needed four pieces of something. If you go up, there's stuff as well. <laughs> there's so many things! Uh. Yeah, I don't know what's worth doing first. I guess we're really close to this. Might as well kill this guy. Oh! I've <laughs> yes, there they are. I totally didn't forget at all. No! He kicked me in there. Come on, guy. That's not cool. I should just go. Why am I even fighting him? Okay. Not breakable. Over there. I remember there being one here too, right? Yes. I know I don't have to trigger it, but I'm scared. Okay, there we go. Oh, wait, wait. Oh, he killed me? <laughs> no, why? Dang it. I was wondering if I can open that... Um, that thing at the top was him, but I don't think he can. Okay, get that thing again. There we go. Maybe save. Yeah, I don't think he can. Like, if I throw him at it. No, I can't even throw him that far. Oh, this guy? He's shooting something else. I'm not sure. Oh, we can open this though. Nice. That's an ability point. Right. So we got that. Uh, yeah, I guess we keep going left then. Are there spikes? Those are spikes. I'm not sure if his shots could have opened that stuff up there. It's possible. Oh, did I never get this? Or do they actually respawn? Oh, close. Oh, I'm out. No, dang it. Oh, God. I don't want to die now. Yeah, there was this that we couldn't reach. And now we're right back at the very beginning of the game. Giant tree in the background. And there's still something all the way up here that we never got. Interesting. It's really cool to me that there are so many hidden things still. All the way down there is something. I might actually go there because this is a safe spot. Wait, could you go through these things? Yeah, yeah. This looks like it respawned too, whatever was behind here. No, no, it's just a flower. Yeah, I don't think they do respawn. I think it's just we never seen that one. Uh, let me go save first, just in case. Does this refill our stuff? Yes, it does. Yeah, th these are the things I mean. I was talking about. Those are probably gonna be teleporters, I assume. Because there aren't too many in this world, and so like teleporting wouldn't be like making everything super easy. Oh, look at this little uh, picture. It's another one of us. Nice. Okay, so I guess we just go back up then again. A little bit of a collecting episode. But we did get the awesome 
Or some uh, stomp. Uh, but I, yeah, like it's, I mentioned it a few times, I do enjoy collecting stuff in these games. I've been watching some people play like old, um, like uh, platform games like uh, um, Banjo Kazooie and stuff. I actually never played Banjo Kazooie because I never owned a Nintendo 64 myself. I always had to like play at friends' places if I want to play N64 games. But that game is like. It has so many collectibles, and it looks really cool. I actually, I actually would kind of like to play that. And it's kind of sad that there aren't a lot of these games nowadays anymore. Ooh, life cell even, nice. There aren't a lot of these 3D platform games anymore. Ratchet and Clank is probably one of the very rare ones, but that's a little bit different too, because it's not very platformy, I guess. I don't know, it's more, yeah, it's more fighting than platformer. Uh, there's a door up there that we never reached either. I don't think we can. It doesn't look like we can jump up there. So yeah, we have to go up this way, make our way up here. There's a whole area here. I don't know why we've never been there, because it looks like we could. Huh. Yeah, I don't remember. So, that might be something up there we can check out. I think that might actually, well, yeah, it might be where we have to go. Or through this door there in the middle of the screen now. We might want to go check that one out because it's very close to us anyway. So, we have to go this way. Might do this real quick. I, like I said, I don't, it's been a while since I played, but... I'm recording most of these episodes in one session again. Because this game is awesome. So much fun to just play it and jump around. Oh, can we use these two? Oh yeah, we can. Oh, it's such an enemy? Well, not an enemy, I guess, but it does have health. Oh, there was this big tree here. I wonder... I don't think there was anything to swing on, was there? No, there are only these things. Yeah, okay. Wait, unless he shoots. No, he doesn't shoot. Yeah, no. Still can't get over there. Yeah, this is the side I was talking about, so let's go check that out real quick. Actually, Valley of the Wind. Yeah, this is where we have to go. Why did we never go up here? I don't, I don't understand. Oh, there's a safe spot here. Was this light always coming out of there? <laughs> this is new. All right, so we've yeah we've been up here. I don't remember if there was any anything that stopped us. Oh yeah, I remember. Super strong enemies stopped us. Holy crap! I totally forgot. Could steal a ability point, you know. Oh wow, yeah. Okay, memories are coming back. Spooky place. Yeah, I don't know if I want to check out this place right away, or if I want to check out this. You know what I'm going to do, uh, since the episode is getting long, I think I'm going to end it here. And off camera, I'm just going to go to that side on the right there. Let me show you real quick. I'm going to go all the way, like, here, and try if I can get into this area. If we can, then I think that's what we're going to explore uh, next time, before we go to the Valley of the Winds, so, yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks a lot for watching. If you did enjoy, maybe leave a like. It would help me out super much. And I really appreciate it. And, but I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.